Hey guys, so before we get into this video, I wanna let you know that I just launched my nutrition course. It's called Break the Switch Nutrition. It is an eight week course that walks you through step by step in how to build your own nutrition plan by teaching you the basics and fundamentals of nutrition. Now, I graduated with a bachelor's of science in nutrition in 2013 and I am precision nutrition certified. And over the last couple of months, I've built out this video series. It's 45 plus videos. It also comes with an eight week training program, the, the Break the Switch Nutrition Cookbook, and access to the private Facebook group. And also, I don't wanna forget, a free copy ebook of my book, 25 Hours a Day. So follow the link in the description box below if you wanna reach your fitness nutrition goals by learning all about what it takes to build your own specific nutrition plan. What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. It is it's a Tuesday night. I am meal prepping for the next couple days. So we still have some of this, uh, this half steer that we bought a few weeks ago from a local uh, rancher who makes or produces grass-fed meats, grass-fed, grass-finished. We're actually picking up another half steer uh, middle of May for the BPN team. So I'm making this ground beef right here. And then uh, for lunch tomorrow, I'm also gonna make some rice. So here's a tip for, for when you're making your rice in your rice cooker. Uh, either make it instead of water. You can do like a, a chicken broth, a low sodium chicken broth, or uh, beef broth, like bone broth adds a whole lot more flavor to the rice. So tomorrow I'll do some, some of this ground beef, do some rice, I'll throw some hummus in there, and uh, that will be my lunch tomorrow, but it's 10.30 right now, prepping some grass-fed ground beef. It's a good night. So we had the craziest storms here in Central Texas last night. So it was just going wild here. Woke up this morning and I realized I didn't have any vegetables cooked for lunch today. And I didn't want the whole house smelling like Brussels sprouts at 5 a.m. Uh, so I figured I'd throw Brussels sprouts on the Traeger and they're turning out really, really well. So what I did, and you can do this in the oven too, I just threw like some Brussels sprouts in a, in a dish and I tossed it in some olive oil and the seasoning called nature seasoning I'm smoking up the whole backyard right now. And I'm just throwing them on the Traeger at 450 for probably like 20 minutes. And they smell absolutely delicious. Like I said, you can do the same thing in the oven. Toss in olive oil, put some seasoning on, put them in the oven at like 375, 400 degrees, and just cook them until they're like nice and brown. But I'm making these for lunch. So breakfast this morning is going to be some protein waffles. So let me walk you through this recipe right now. I'm gonna do one serving of these Kodiak Cakes buttermilk power cakes mix. So one serving, it's like half a cup. It's 190 calories. I'm gonna do a scoop and a half of blueberry muffin whey protein. I'm gonna do probably like half a tablespoon of chia seeds uh, just to get some good fats in me and some dietary fiber. So I'll probably do like 14 grams of this. This is something you can easily throw in with a lot of recipes just to get some more fiber, uh, some good fats in. I'm gonna throw some cinnamon in there. Love cinnamon. Um, one egg. I'm gonna do a mashed up banana. I'm gonna use some milk as needed to make it just like a thinner uh, consistency. And I'm gonna top it with like a tablespoon of Kerrygold's butter and sugar-free syrup. So we're gonna make these waffles right now. And I almost forgot, uh, I'm gonna top it with these chopped up fresh strawberries. So it's about a cup of strawberries. Now I don't track macros, however, I still do use a food scale, like right here, uh, mainly for just like portion control. Uh, so I'm not just estimating like with my hand portions. I like to weigh out meats, like the ground beef that I made for lunch today. I'll weigh out um, like oatmeal sometimes, or I'll use like a measuring cup or even like pancake mix, I'll just weigh out to get the portions right, but I don't track anything. Uh, I'm just aware of what I'm eating and I eat intuitively. 
but with small stuff like this, it sometimes makes the recipe a little bit better too if you're pretty accurate. Okay, so breakfast is complete. Meal number one, that recipe made two of these waffles. First one I burned a little bit, second one is perfect. Topped it with the Kerrygold's butter, the strawberries, the sugar free syrup. So these are they're technically blueberry muffin protein waffles topped with strawberries. So I'm gonna dig in and enjoy this first meal. Mmm. And then with breakfast, the morning strong stack. So one scoop of strong greens, one scoop of strong reds, four capsules of strong multivitamin, and then one capsule of strong joints. So those are the morning supplements. As you can see, we have officially secured the second warehouse. Um, so current warehouse is over on that side of the wall. And then like I showed in the last video, this is an additional 10,000 square feet that we just took over. Sign is up, it's official. So we're gonna be at this, this warehouse set up for another five years. We signed a new five year lease for this building and then the building next door, which we're currently in. So we have about 20,000 square feet now. So we decided that we were going to make this one exactly the way we wanted it. Um, we have some professionals coming in that are kind of setting up all of our racking and our packing stations to make them more efficient uh, and effective. We upgraded our furniture. We got standing desks for everyone, which we got to put together this weekend. Um, we're gonna make the office space just look really, really cool. We're gonna, we're gonna put some money into it to make it a really creative space for everyone. But this right here, this is my couch that I ordered from my office. So for the longest time, I wanted like a, like a light leather looking couch. I'm gonna do a shiplap wall in the office. There's the legs. So I was doing some Googling the other night. Ended up finding the couch that I wanted. So let me show it to you. You know, I made a post about this last night on Instagram and as we got the keys and we were moving into this place yesterday, I just thought back to like 2012 when I launched Bayer Performance Nutrition out of my college apartment in Indiana, Pennsylvania. There's like 1,100 square foot apartment that me and five other guys shared. And like, I would store my inventory up there. I would pack the orders in my bed. I would drop off the few orders we got a week at the local post office on the way to class. And just like seeing how in eight years, the growth we've experienced. And, um, you know, I started it. I, as Nick Bear, started Bear Performance Nutrition. But by no means would we have been able to grow Bear Performance Nutrition to where it is today without one, you guys, the supporters, the customers, the fans. Greatly appreciate that. And then the team, like the guys over there in that warehouse next door that are working their ass off every day to grow the company, to, to build the brand. Um, and then our athletes, ambassadors that, that are part of the vision, the mission, the journey, it all comes together. It's a we growth, it's not a me growth. Um, I'm just really grateful. And I just wanna say thank you guys for the support. Okay guys, so this is lunch right here. Let me show you what we're working with. This is the this is rice and beef. This is the beef that I made last night. This is about eight ounces of that ground grass-fed beef from the local rancher. This is a cup and a quarter of uh, jasmine rice that's made in chicken broth. And then what I'm gonna do, Steph actually showed me this. 
I actually have the Brussels sprouts on the side as well from this morning. Um, this is hummus and this is tabbouleh. So tabbouleh, it's parsley and cracked wheat salad. Steph showed me this combination. I'm gonna throw a little bit of the tabbouleh and a little bit of the hummus and the Brussels sprouts in this meal right here. So this is lunch, this is meal number two. So here's one of my favorite tips for, for like lunches. This is what I do. So I have like these go-to foundational meals being like rice and beef, chicken and rice, chicken and potatoes, beef and potatoes. Those are foundational meals you can just prep. And then I turn it into what I call a flex bowl. So you add like little pieces to it. So get it close up in this right here. Now we have, we turn it into a flex bowl because there's a hummus, there's the tabbouleh, there's some Cholula hot sauce in there and then Brussels sprouts. So there's a lot going on. You get a whole lot of flavor. But if you build these meals out where it's like your foundational go-to meals, just like the, the carbs and the protein, you can add a bunch of stuff to it that packs a lot of flavor. But this combination right here is absolute fire. So give it a try. Okay, so for my pre-run meal, uh, it's now like 2 p.m. I'm about to go on a podcast and I have a few other calls after this. I'm gonna do one banana. It's about 25 to 30 grams of carbs. And then a field bar. This is actually a new flavor of field bar. This is almond butter. It just went live today. So check out the ingredients on this bar right here. It is, ready for it, ingredients. Roasted almonds, honey, whey protein isolate, and natural flavors. So per bar, 15 grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs, and 17 grams of protein. And these field bars, the sweetener we decided to use, it wasn't sucralose, it wasn't sugar, it was honey. These bars are naturally sweetened with honey. So this is my pre-run, pre-workout meal. And now to go on this podcast. Hey, wait up. Oh, look at that new hat, boy. Check it out. What kind of workout are you doing today? All right, so today George and I, we're doing a three mile warm up. So we're in a three mile warm up right now. Then we're gonna do two 800 meter repeats and then four 200 meter repeats. And then we're gonna finish with a 2.5 mile cool down. So that's the workout today. We have the one mile for time coming up this Sunday, which I'm trying to go sub five. So volume's a little lower. Intensity isn't too crazy. Cause we're just trying to like, kind of taper into that a little bit. So today's workout, it can't, honestly, weather can't get any more beautiful than this. Central Texas, baby. Couldn't be any better. Three mile warm up complete. I have my sprinter assistant here, George. And uh, like we've talked about in previous videos, George was a collegiate sprinter. So we're gonna do the 800 meter loop, which is, it's really nice. The whole lap around the warehouse, 800 meters. So we're gonna do that. Uh, each rep has to be below three minutes. Um, we'll have like a two minute walk in between and then we'll knock out the 200 meter sprints. So we're gonna do two 800 meter laps around the warehouse. Sub three minutes. Go. All right, first lap, our first 800 was done. Two minutes. 41 seconds. So now like a two minute walk, we'll knock out another. Get me breathing a little bit here, Nick Bear. Breathing a little bit. Faster on that one, 235 for 800. So now we'll take another two minute rest, knock on some 400s. Oh no. Fun's not over. <laughs> and we're back. I said 400s, I meant 200s. Four times 200 meters. Give me a second, I'm trying to select the appropriate weapon. Uh, watch where you step in, them snakes all around, you know they connected. Uh. When I was a kid, my grandmama told me I can't go to heaven, so I stopped praying. And that's the perplexion just out of the sand for my I'm a kid, ain't got nothing to lose, I'm all in. Walking the end, don't fall in. Enough with a lie, don't apologize. I ran another 29 seconds. 
George was probably like 26. Look at time, timing on the clip. Heat. Woo! It's that sun. Time to cool down. That's right. I'm ready for it. All right, so run workout is complete. Now, if I'm hitting a, a lifting session after run, like today, um, I sometimes will have flight, some sort of stimulant pre-workout. However, today I'm not. So I'm just going to down really quick a scoop of watermelon intraflight, which is amino acids. And I'm gonna throw in a scoop of endo pump, blackberry lemonade. So I'll mix these two together, shake it up. Steph's in the gym right now. I can hear it just rocking out. I don't know if you can hear, but like, the base is just like rock in the gym. Mix these two up, drink this, and hit a workout. So I'm not gonna show you the entire workout, but I will show you max pull-ups. It's the first thing I'm gonna do. So, post seven mile run, max pull-ups. Let's go. Twenty-four. You're crazy. Mm. So I headed home for dinner. I'm absolutely starving. I'm always starving after runs and workouts. It's still a thrill to me that this warehouse behind me, our newer house is ours. Our old warehouse over there, my hands are packed full of stuff, so I'm using my head to orientate you, as we would say in the army. We got about twenty thousand square feet of warehouse space now. It's amazing. I love it. Pops! Oh, jeez. What's up, Ryan? Yeah. Come here, Ram. Yeah. Ram, what's up? What's up, Remy? What's up? Jeez. Hey, Ram. Hey, Ryan. Okay, so dinner, post-workout, we make these pizzas like once a week. So this is a whole grain sprouted crust that we get at HEB. So we make two of these for dinner and then Steph and I split like one and three quarters of them. This is the supreme one that we do. So it's like barbecue sauce for the, the base. There's trees, there's the ground beef from that local rancher that I made last night and had for lunch. Mushrooms, olives, a bunch of different veggies, uh, looks like some chopped green onion, and then I'll top it with some of this Bolt House Greek yogurt ranch dressing. I have a, a few more slices than these first four, but this is the starter. So this is dinner right here. So late night juice. This right here. This is one beet. This is about three or four carrots. It's about, let's say five stalks of celery, a lemon, um, a little a little ginger root, and a little turmeric root. So it's just like, what I like to do is just be aware of what I'm eating throughout the day. Um, I don't track calories, I don't track macros, but for example, if I know I'm a little low on like nutrient dense foods, like fruits, vegetables. I'll try to just do a juice in the evening, um, just to like load up from, from where I miss out on the day. So this is my juice for the nightcap. 
very gingery, but very bitey and good. I also wanted to show some other things I typically do at night. Um, so I will probably also consume just some cashews, like some salty cashews tonight. Um, probably one of my favorite snacks in the entire world, to be honest. This is something I do as well that I absolutely love. I call it peanut butter jelly in a cup. Now look at this. What this is right here, it's just like three spoonsfuls. It's not gonna make you like go into bed super full. It's pretty simple. It is literally like two tablespoons of uh, chunky peanut butter, a little bit of jelly. So this is a red raspberry preserve from Bucky's, and then chia seeds. So if you throw peanut butter, jelly, chia seeds in like a little bowl like this, a little cup, great midnight snack or late night snack. So that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the full day of eating and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.